Hey guys, welcome back to another Regular Dude Fishing video. I am the Regular Dude John. I hope all is well. Uh, I am fishing for skipjack today on the Ohio River. Uh, I'm using my trusty cadence rod that I always use. And since we are in Ohio, I have uh, modified my Sabiki uh, rig to uh, be in accordance with the law. We're only running two hooks, uh, two hooks on this actual Sabiki, and then I've got my sinker and a chartreuse foley spoon uh, with a leader at the end. Uh, Ohio, we can only run three hooks. And you notice that I'm not down here below any kind of a dam. The river is kind of high, but I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to fish at locks and dams in order to catch skipjack. Uh, what we are looking for, let's just look at the river for a second here and see what we're looking for. So what we always look for whenever we're fishing skipjack is a pretty thick current seam uh, that will have some sort of a backwater uh, that will hold shiners and bait fish in it and of course the current. So this is what we have found we are at a boat ramp um and right here by the boat ramp uh the water is up but right here at the boat ramp there's rocks and then right at the end of those rocks there's going to be a current seam uh that is made just from the current of the river so i don't want you guys to think that you have to go to a dam or drive to a dam uh in order to catch skipjack out of out of the river especially the ohio river because any place where you can find a current seam, whether it be uh, a rock eddy, a wing dam, a boat ramp, uh, you see down there where the barge is coming up, see those barge pylons there next to the shore? Uh, sometimes those will have a good current seam coming off of the round side of them and they'll hold skipjack as well. So the reason that we're making this video is just, just to kind of show you guys that especially this time of year in the spring, uh, you can find the feeding active skipjack in lots of different kinds of current seams. And sometimes they'll be out, you know, in the middle of the river behind, uh, if you've got a bridge going across and you have access to a boat, you can get out in the middle of the river and get behind one of those bridge pylons that's making a current seam coming around the pylon and they'll hold skipjack as well. So it's just one of them things that uh, a little bit of experience and a little bit of trial and error uh, realize what the skipjack are biting on, what they're looking for this time of year. They're looking for minnows and shiners and small fish. Kind of match the hatch, which the baits that you're throwing. Uh, murky water. I like to use the chartreuse spoon in the murky water because the water, you see how it's kind of muddy and a little bit stained. So, and as the river goes down and clears up, we will adjust our baits uh, to maybe a white spoon or the silver spoon uh, and maybe some smaller sabikis as the year progresses and the, the fish start hatching out. But anyway, we're gonna get to fishing, enough blabbing. I just wanted to show you guys that uh, we can catch skipjack uh, from places that are not locks and dams. So let's get to fishing. There's the skipjack. I can do that over this log here. All right, there's two of them. Nice. That's what we like. Ohio River Skipjack. There's one of them. The other one popped off. He's down there on, on the ground. What? Alrighty. Let's see if we can get some more. Alright. There's another one. Oh, oh no, 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 you don't. <laughs> well, let's get him in the, in the cooler and we'll uh, see if we can try to catch some more. <clears throat> all right so as i'm casting and fishing i'm going to cast my baits onto the other side of the current seam out there and then i like to give it these little twitching motions to make it look like a little bait fish is kind of you know running for his life ah! as i'm bringing it up the current uh away from uh you know like so the current's running this way and i'm trying to drag my baits this way up that current seam um, I, along with my buddy Richard, we believe, you know, that it's called angling for a reason. Sometimes you can bring it straight across, uh, and they won't hit it, but if sometimes if you give it just that little bit of a different angle, uh, they'll hit it. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's, sometimes it's weird how it works, but that's just kind of how it works. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just casting onto, and I don't know how well this camera's going to pick anything up, but I'm just casting onto the other side of that current scene. And then working my baits back up the current seam. If that makes sense. I hope it does. There was one right there that just come up and splashed and missed it. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. 
And remember too that skipjack are predator fish. Uh, they upfeed a lot. They're, they're, are usually they're going to be uh, a few feet below the surface looking for uh, bait fish and minnows uh, that are trapped between them and the surface. So they're looking to strike up. That's why a lot of times when you see them miss, you'll see them come up out of the water and splash and they'll miss like that. So we'll make another cast here and hopefully something will happen and we'll get lucky. Yep, we may have to change up our retrieve a little bit, but that's just all a part of fishing. Sometimes we're gonna change it up, switch it up, cast at a different angle, and uh, just kind of see what's working and what it is that they're looking for in order, to, uh, in order to get them to bite. A lot of times when you're throwing artificial baits, uh, you know, a lot of times you can get them to do that, what's called the reaction strike, which is they're not necessarily actively feeding, but they see something that's interesting and decide that they want to either make it stop what it's doing because they're aggravated or go ahead and try to eat on it anyway just because it looks like it's yummy. So, but you're going to pass this way for this barge, wait here to pass us. We see a lot of that on the Ohio River. And uh, if anything cool happens, we will turn the camera on. Come on, skipjack. Whoa! That is not it. I had a skipjack on. And something else come up and grab it. It's a gar. I got a gar snag. Yeah, the gar in here. Spawning and feeding this time of year as well around these same areas. They're in here chasing the same things that we're chasing. The gar are chasing the skipjack and the minnows. And we got him foul hooked right there in the tail. I'll give him a second. And get my I can get my bait first. There's the skipjack. Now spoon out of the tail of this old guard. Well, so get on back in there, buddy. All right. Well, that's always a nice surprise. <laughs> yeah, you never know what the old river's going to give you. Let's see if we can get some more. And one. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he popped off. Oh, we got him. All right. Got him on the old spoon. Nice, nice. So far, so good. Oh no. Oh, they do that. They pop off the hook and get away. <laughs> yeah, it can be aggravating sometimes, y'all. But, it's fishing. Let's see if we can't catch another one. I'm gonna have to check my hook, I think. Oh. But there we have it. Another Ohio River skipjack. Very nice. All right, he hit right next to the bank and he was already on the bank before I got my camera on. Ow, my hook's in my hand. All right. That's a good size one right there. It's a nice, nice size Ohio River skipjack. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. We've been here about 45 minutes or so, and then we've caught, I don't know, maybe 10, and we missed a whole bunch more, uh, but that's how skipjack fishing goes. But uh, it just goes to show, I'm just trying to show you guys that you don't always need uh, a dam or locks or something like that uh, to find skipjack. Just look uh, for the right water conditions and uh and fish it so the next time you go to put your boat in your favorite boat ramp if you see a current seam off of the side of the boat ramp take a minute throw some jigs throw some sabikis and uh see what's in there and you may not even have to go chase bait before you go fishing until you put your boat in so there you have it i hope this guy i uh, hope this helps out and uh you know it's uh 
it's, uh, it's just uh, it's all fun, a day on the river. So uh, that's going to be it for now. You guys uh, have a great rest of the day, and uh, we'll try to get more next time. So until the next time, we'll catch you in the next video. Fishing!